Hey there, welcome to Izzo's Place. So I have a video for you today, and on, it's about building a countertop. It's only in time lapse, but the difference from this video, from other videos where I've showed you step by step how to build a laminate countertop, is I was working out of a garage. I didn't have my shop. I didn't have my fancy tools. I didn't have my fancy glue sprayer. So this was very bare bones using uh, plug-in saws and uh, a cheap Ryobi set of cordless tools. Uh, but I wanted to post this and show you that even if you don't have a shop like mine, but you have some of these woodworking skills and a minimum amount of tools, you can build your own laminate countertop. So go ahead and check this out. Okay, just start out with two horses. We make some marks, we draw a line. That little cordless Ryobi does have a laser on it to be able to follow. And then we do the same, we mark where we want to go. Now you might be able to notice that's on an angle. I did that on purpose to help it fit the room better. In tabletop saw. Please be careful if you're going to do such a thing. I really should have put clamps on that. So I have hearing protection, eye protection, and gloves on them. Okay, usually I'll use a stapler to put the buildup on, but all I had was the pinner. So I glued it and pinned it, and it worked out just fine. corded chop saw. You're not used to seeing me with that, but that's what I had at the time. Okay, got to cut the laminate, just use the table saw for that. Then I used a board and a utility knife to cut some of the smaller cross cuts. Now it's time to glue. Didn't have my fancy glue sprayer, so I'm just using something you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's, rolling it on with a really deep nap roller, and stick them and route them as you've seen me do in other videos. If you haven't watched any of those yet, I do have a how-to series on building laminate countertops. I have a few more videos to add to that. We're sanding the backsplashes. Time to cover them. Ah, look at that, I even protected the floor, which I wouldn't normally do in my own garage, but I don't own this garage. The roller that I bought is a carpet seam roller but it was able to give, give me enough pressure to roll the laminate like it's supposed to be. So when I'm rolling glue onto laminate, I'll put one layer of glue on the laminate itself, but the core pine there, the particle board, it sucks in some of that glue. So I'll always put a second coat of glue on the core pine when I'm rolling it manually like this. When dealing with contact cement, I always suggest using dowels like that to set it. Alright, we're to the cleaning phase. Clean this countertop up. Cut the backsplashes to their final size. Then we can file all the edges that need filing. There's our finished product. Built right in the garage, not using any of my fancy tools. Something anyone can do at their house if they take a little time and be careful. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have a minimum amount of woodworking skills and a minimum amount of tools, I feel like you could do this project yourself. And I just wanted to post this to give you the confidence that you could tackle a project like this. Now, of course, please um, use tools and do projects at your own risk. If 
you have any questions, please feel free to email me at heyizzo at yahoo.com. I will be happy to answer any tool or safety related uh, questions you have about the process of building a laminate top. Thanks for stopping by. And in the meantime, if you're working, work safely. If you're drinking whiskey, please, where'd you come from? If you're drinking whiskey, please drink responsibly. But do everything with a little bit of whimsy and you're going to have a good time. I'll see you next time you're hanging out at Izzo's place. Hey there, welcome to Izzo's Place. So today I have a time lapse of a countertop that I built. And unlike the videos where I show you step by step how to build a countertop, this particular counterpart, countertop, let's start testing over. the microphone, testing the microphone, testing the microphone.